Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 800 West 1st Street. Uh, this is unit number two here in Newburgh. We're located at the left side of the home. We have a three inch ABS ping nozzle point of access. I'm gonna insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We currently have water running. We're gonna zero out the camera counter right here at the base of the clean out. Here we go. Alrighty, so right off the bat here, we're going into quite a lot of standing water. There's three inches of water there. And then it looks like it transitioned there at some point amongst all that to, it's hard to tell, but it's likely four inch 30, 34 PVC pipe. And we're knocking a bunch of junk out of the way here. This is possibly just a clog that was in the line. Hopefully we're clearing something out of the way here. Uh, we'll take a good look at all this on the way out. Hopefully once we get some debris out of here, we'll have a little bit clearer picture as to what is going on exactly. As best I can tell, though, a transition there, it's definitely 30-34, it's likely 4-inch pipe. We just don't get a good look at the transition. gone down the line here. It looks like stuff that shouldn't have gone down the line. There was looked like a couple paper towels or cleaning wipes, baby wipes, something like that. Unless it is toilet paper, shouldn't go down your line. Even flushable wipes, flushable wipes are about as bad as toilet paper. Or I'm sorry, about as bad as paper towels are. We reel out here. We're gonna. I'm gonna probably do about three or four toilet flushes to help, flushes to help clear water out of the line. You can see how our water flow is starting to slow down, and that is because of the amount of stuff that's in the pipe here, damming the line up. And I'm rather surprised here. We have a line this length, considering how close we are to the street. Uh, this appears to be the main lateral connection. This is kind of strange looking here, What the way we're coming into this. I'm going to go locate the camera head just to find out where this is at exactly. I'm not sure what type of setup we have here. That This might be some type of pump system for all I know. Uh, anyway, I'll go locate and see where it's at exactly. We're also going to let the line drain out completely after doing a few toilet flushes to help clear some debris from the line. All right, I did end up uh, locating the camera head here. So if you're standing out in the little private drive staring at the front of the house, the line comes out the left side of the home, heads up to the front of the house, makes a hard turn, and then heads all the way up about two houses to the right of this one. And there's a, on, on each side of the, the roadway, it looks like this is actually terminating at a pump system here. When I push further into it, you can see that there's some kind of, it looks like valves and electronics inside there, and that's generally indicative of a pump system. So that's, a, it's an extremely long sewer line, considering how close the street is. But anyway, it's set up that way for a reason. They probably don't have a main lateral to tie into out here. Now it looks like the line is just about all drained out. And this is a, because this is a private neighborhood or drive, I would... It's worth knowing how responsibility is divvied up here. It's not quite as cut and dry as a line just going out to the middle of a road. I 
Now before I came back out here, I uh, did four toilet flushes to help move any debris out of the sewer line. Stuff right here does look like we've got wiped and, and just going inside the house there I can see that there's I don't know if they've been flushed down the line but we've got looks like little kids in the house with some with some diaper wipes so that it's possible that that's going down the line once these things get all gunked up it's hard to tell and I think this standing water we're seeing right here is likely due now actually we might have a, an actual belly here in the line Sometimes you'll get debris sitting in the flow line like we just saw there a moment ago and that can dam up the sewer pipe. We'll let the water settle back into place here. Now this particular belly here starts at 56 feet. Trying to get some of that debris out of the way. You can see the uh, the issue with flushing stuff down the line here. Now my, my my criteria for bellies, and this is not like when you have a brand new line installed that's being inspected by the city. Where I typically see just regular old toilet paper building up. I'm not talking about baby wipes, stuff that shouldn't go down the sewer line. Um, when toilet paper starts to collect, or at least um, in my experience after doing about 15,000 scopes, typically it's when you have at least five feet of pipe with at least an inch of standing water in it static when there's no running water at all that is where I start to see toilet paper collect the only thing so far I'm seeing in here and th this spot here is only about I mean the, the water dissipates out here or the standing water at about 60 feet so it's it's not even five feet long it's like three and a half feet of the the more significant part of the standing water at this belly's deepest point here we're we're barely over a quarter of an inch of standing water so, not a belly that concerns me as far as getting a repair done. Um, I'm likely going to recommend a hydrojet, though, to clean all the junk out of the sewer pipe. Because that stuff there can can lead to the new homeowner having debris build up in the line. So, anyway, when, when you move in here, as long as you don't have a bunch more bellies leading up to that point. Now, if you get a bunch of bellies back-to-back -back that are like that, that, that can be a little bit different circumstance. But one here and there like that is not a significant issue. As long as you're not putting baby wipes down the, the pipe or, or baking grease down the sink, tampons. Flushable wipes are just as bad as ta paper towels. You don't want to use them at all. Anyway, that's not a spot there I'd recommend tearing the ground up to fix, though. That right there is where the line turns and starts to head up towards the, uh, about two houses up before it hits the pump. It looks like we have another belly here in the line. You can see on the sidewall, the pipe there, how we have all that junk that's collected. That right there is a combination of what looks like grease and wipes. We have a similar situation here. We're going to pull back, let the water settle in for a second. And this spot here starts at 30 feet. And the water dissipates out within less than three feet, a very small belly. This one's getting closer to the amount of standing water that becomes concerning. It's it, We're hovering around a half to three quarters of an inch. We'll kind of let that water settle back in here for a second. That right there, the, the middle of the camera lens is a half of an inch off the bottom of the pipe. 
that's about a half inch of water there. Again, very, very short little belly there. Again, as long as you're putting stuff down the line that, sh that you know, that, that, that's supposed to, or intended to go down there, just fold the toilet paper is the only thing that should be going down your toilet. Uh, and as far as the disposal of kitchen sink goes, you can put food down it. You just got to make sure you're avoiding any fats, grease, cooking oil, that kind of stuff. Or else you get this buildup here that we're seeing. Now, because of the amount of debris I'm seeing in the line, I am going to recommend a hydrojet to, to blast all the junk out of the pipe. As you can see, this is an actively lived in home. The only thing we're seeing built up in the pipe at all is stuff that shouldn't be going down the line. It's a big concern when you have regular old toilet paper collecting. That's the stuff that's intended to go down a sewer line. When that stuff starts building up, that's when you have a problem. That's what's intended to go down there, if that makes any sense at all. We are nearing the, uh, the clean out here. We've got one more spot we need to check. Now, this spot here does actually concern me. And the reason for that is we've got the pipe is completely full here, and the line was absolutely, I mean, probably 90% clogged when we went through here originally. I pushed a bunch of stuff out of the line. So this spot here, I am going to recommend a repair on. This this right here is, is 10 times more significant than the other spots we saw. When you have three inches of water or the pipe is t completely full, this is a, a point at which toilet paper is going to stick, clog up the line. You can see the top of the pipe there. That's toilet paper that's turned to slurry and has deposited. Um, this will cause you problems. Now it starts here at 10, just barely a foot into the line. We're, we're going to call it one foot. And it stops here at about, we'll call it five. You've got basically a five-foot belly there, uh, but a very, very significant one. I'm going to do my best to locate this. I don't know if it's if it runs under the fence line. It looks like it's going to be pretty close, but I'll get it mapped out with paint. It'll be uh, on the left side of the home, right near the clean-out, and I'll mention the depth here in just a moment. All righty, so I, I'm picking up the locate right up next to the fence here. And I'll show that when I pull the camera out here in just a moment. Uh, the line looks like it may be directly underneath the fence here, so it may require actually pulling up some fence to deal with this. And uh, because it's that close, I cannot get a completely accurate locate without being able to get the, the locate right on top of the sewer line. Uh, the best I can tell there, my locator is indicating about two and a half to three feet deep, which makes sense being this close to the house. And we're sitting right around two feet deep here at the very start of the belly. Somewhere between two and a half, two, two and a half, three feet deep here. I have to use some caution, but be, as close as that's sitting to the fence, it's either part underneath the fence or entirely underneath it it's it's kind of tough to tell so use a little caution when digging there we're going to run backwards into the house here for just a moment make sure we don't have any debris build up inside the home that needs to be clean or any bellies or anything like that uh, but that that particular spot there i highly recommend being repaired that, that is a very significant problem uh, and because it's only I mean, three feet or so out from the house. If that clogs there, you're going to get a backup almost instantaneously. You know, when they're not not to say that, that belly being 50 feet out is not is bad, but it, it it takes a lot longer for the backup to get there. You've got a lot more pipe to fill up with water. It's not a a belly I recommend waiting to get repaired. I would get it repaired immediately or before moving in the, into the house. And we made it all the way to the end of the main line inside the uh, crawl space there. All that pipe is looking good and draining properly. All right, so as an overview here, we have a belly that runs from, uh, it's, it's not even a foot out. It's essentially five feet long. It starts at about 10 inches out from the clean out right here where that X is at, turns and then rides up the fence line. Then you can see my paint where it ends there. You know, and it's, it's running just about smack dab underneath that fence there, around two to three feet deep. <clears throat> This spot I highly recommend repairing is we have three inches of standing water in a three-inch pipe. It's causing major debris buildup. The line was probably about 90% clogged. 
uh, if not more, when we came through there. The camera cleared a whole bunch of debris buildup. Um, beyond that, we've got a minor belly that's got about consistently about a half inch of standing water for three feet from 30 feet to 33 feet. Uh, and then we have a belly um, that's got a quarter inch of water from 56 feet to 60 feet. Uh, both of those, in my opinion, are just not worth repairing. They're just not that significant or very, very short sections of pipe. If you had a belly like that, you know, that was extending for 20 or 30 feet with a quarter inch or a half inch of water, that can be more significant, but neither one of those are even five feet in length. Um, and all we're seeing collecting in that is it looks like just baby wipes um, and grease. So, is, and it may not be grease at all, so it, it's kind of hard to tell, but you get a certain color to grease, and that's kind of what it looks like, a combination of grease and wipes. Uh, so I recommend a hydrojet to clean the line out. Now you can do that, um, you can decide what order you want to do that, repair and jet, or jet and then repair. Uh, but I recommend getting any debris buildup clean out of the line. Um, in, in my opinion, those two bellies beyond this first one, they're just not significant enough to, in my opinion, to uh, justify tearing up the concrete and, and, and digging down and fixing that. It would be extremely expensive, and you're not going to really get a whole lot of benefit from it. And then make sure the only thing going down your line is folded toilet paper, and you can put food down the disposal. Just no fats, grease, cooking oil, that stuff. Anything beyond those two items should not be going down any type of sewer line at all. I highly recommend a repair after the, or I'm sorry, a rescope after the repair is done to make sure that the line is not settled again. A lot of these issues happen right when the line is being installed. They're usually that way from the very get-go, uh, and that, that's an even better reason why I'm not recommending a repair. When a house has been around here that long, especially with as significant of a belly as we have here right off the bat, um, those two spots out further, the only thing we're seeing collecting them is wipes. There's no toilet paper to speak of throughout the line. Just wipes and possibly some grease. So that's my reasoning for not recommending a repair beyond this first belly here.